Okay. Hi. Uh, so I'm Pasindu. Uh, I actually haven't been coding in PHP for about two years now. Uh, I used to .NET. Uh, uh, so if you went to the PHP manual, and uh, I mostly did uh, many of uh, PHP 7 documentations. Um, so yeah, if you want to later talk about PHP, how to get involved in PHP uh, internals or uh, write documentation or bug fixers, all, all those kind of things. Uh, I can help you out. Uh, okay, so PHP bots. Okay, so how many of y'all have used a bot? Okay, so, so this is kind of the, typically the first thing that comes to your mind when you say bots these days. Because it's like chatbots are everywhere. And there is so many talks on PH uh, on bots and everything. So I thought because there is a demand for chatbots, I'll not be doing that today. No. I'm, I'm doing something else. <laughs> so the bot I'm going to do is this. So it's on hardware. Can we do PHP on hardware? Is it is it easy, hard? What do you think? Any ideas? Any thoughts? And also, just to put a disclaimer, this is purely for fun. I'm not endorsing it. Uh, I'm not encouraging people to do it. I'm just showing some things. Um, so, the, so typically, the problem with uh, PHP for anything is uh, PHP always needs a server or things like that. It's not compiled, so you kind of, it's not compiled, so you cannot kind of run it like you would do any other binary. Um, so and so hardware is hardware typically has been for like C, C developers. Recently there are things that have come up which enables uh, normal human beings like us who uses PHP or other level languages to uh, to maybe uh, fiddle with hardware a bit. Okay. Um, okay. So, so I'll I'll be running through some demos. Uh, so, uh, typically the so the what has been invented recently, or oh, it's some time back actually, uh, is something called Fermata. So Fermata is a firmware that you can put on an Arduino Nano or an Arduino Uno or an, any number of Arduinos or it can be put on some other devices, as, compatible devices as well. Um, of it as a REST API for hardware. So you send an, uh, you want your hardware to do something, you can send a request, it will do it for you if you want to get some information out of it, you can send another request and it will uh, send you the results out of it. Um, so, Fermata is. Um, okay, so Fermata, because it's a firmware, it is very, it's, it's, it's language independent. So I got into this because I used to do PHP uh, notebooks a lot, and if you've been for JS uh, Conf Asia, I did a workshop there. Uh, so that's how I got into this. Uh, so Fermata has a lot of clients in any language, a lot of languages, and PHP is one of them. Okay, so to this actual slide now. Um, so, so I have a, uh, let's say, okay. Um, so to get started is, the way you get started on this is you have to, if you have access to an Arduino Nano or Arduino Uno, uh, you can just uh, uh, use the Arduino IDE, um, which is this, Arduino IDE, uh, go, to, um, go to examples, and, uh, hmm. Ah. Ah. 
Okay, so this is Fermata. Okay, uh, you can uh, you can uh, flash Fermata standard Fermata onto your uh, uh, Arduino Nano, and uh, then uh, you can actually use Node.js or JavaScript or anything after that. So let's try to see whether we can do this using. Okay, so for this, I'm using for PHP, the client is called something dash from Mata. Kara, Kara, Ka, I don't, I don't know how to say it. Uh, Fermata. I'm just going, going to call it the Fermata client. Um, Uka, that was wrong. Okay. So typically the first, uh, the, uh, typically the first thing that you run on, a, if you're new into hardware, is something called the Blinky. So Blinky is something where there's an LED and it's just blinking. That's, that's all it is. Okay, so when you got this Fermata client, um, one of the first things you have to do is you have to, um, this is, there's a bootstrap uh, that kind of, um, Gets your um, gets your objects. So there is the typical. There is different ways you can communicate with the uh, uh, communicate with the nano. One way is you communicate with it directly with in on in serial, or you can have a TCP server on in front of it where your serial uh, to to your hardware or the nano. Okay. Uh, then next, you have to set your uh, set your ports. Um, um, so this is my serial, I think. Um, okay. So after that, you come to the Blinky. Uh, so in Blinky, it's pretty. Uh, um, if you're into PHP, you probably get the gist of it. Um, so there is a. It's an. This is an anonymous class that you're using. And there is board that you can uh, that kind of holds everything that you want. Um, so let's try running it, and then I can say what's actually happening. The light is blinking. Let me. Yay! We so you so we use PHP. <laughs> um, so that's the that's the easy part. Um, okay. So let's just, so basically, um, I'm not going to talk more lot about the board. So Arduino Nanos has typically uh, three pins, uh, three types of pins, uh, analog, digital, and there's something called the PWM pin. It's something between a digital and an analog, kind of. Um, so what we're doing here is we are using pin number 10. For our LED, uh, we are set, saying it's an output pin. Uh, basically, we are sending something that it's supposed to output. Uh, and then we have our loop, uh, and we have a set interval, and then we just call it every second. That just goes on and off. Um, yeah, that's pretty okay. So let's try to see whether we can do this. Um, okay. This is
Okay. Uh, um, um, supposed to have is called uh, um, is the laser which is okay, okay. Um, me so this is this is a laser that's going on yeah. <laughs> um, okay yeah, I should have. I should have. <laughs> okay, so do so. Those are the output uh, output things that you can do um, with the with the board. So that's uh, that's interesting. That's cute. Uh, but let's try to see whether we can get something out of a sensor. Um, so the sensor that I have is called the heartbeat center sensor. Uh, so let's try whether this works. Um, so just to go back on the laser, it's pretty much the same thing. Everything uh, about digital stuff is same, one or zero, on and off. It's pretty uh, simple there. Um, Okay, let's see the heartbeat pulse, I believe. Um, so, so if you can say this, you'll see something. This is extremely unreliable. Um, so th that's the problem that you, when you, when you try to do this stuff, that's the biggest problem that you can have is your hardware is the is going to be the issue. Uh, um, okay, um, yeah. So if you are doing hardware, it's easy to blame people. You can say it's just hardware, not my code. Pretty easy. Um, okay, so the hardware is analog. So in this, I my pin to yeah 14 may it's i know i just uh, uh read it uh, um it's kind of a event loop uh event on kind of thing where it will uh every time it calls code will run and i can see it okay so um that's that and uh, see what else we have. Okay. Um, so all these things are uh, if you know MIDI, MIDI controllers, audio MIDI, uh, those things. So this is something that's this formata messaging is kind of built on top of it with some extra additions. So um, yeah. Okay. Something else. Um.
So this is the this is the car that I was talking about. So we did it in PHP, and you can actually just do it in. Uh, uh, sorry, we previously did it in uh, uh, Node.js, and then you can actually do the same thing in uh, in PHP also. Yeah, I'm. Uh, if you can see, not pretty printed, but you can see. Uh, and space to stop it. OK, let's see how that thing works. OK, so this thing, so the hardest thing I found out when I was trying to do this was how to get a key press every single time without being, it being buffered. That was the hardest thing that I found trying to, it was not the hardware, it was not anything else, it was just PHP. So being, I guess, used to Node.js and stuff, you on events and every uh, thing there. Um, okay, so I have uh, two uh, motors servers, which is on pin nine uh, and ten. So those are PWM pins. Um, I have a map of up down keys. Um, I read it, and then I do the things that I want to. So, so this is this analog. Uh, I'm setting, so if you, uh, so when I press up, it needs to go forward. But the, so if you can see, this is inverse because the motors are inverse. Because they're on the bo both sides. Therefore, if, if both, both the, the, the direction of both are not, the, not front at the same time. Because they're on the opposite sides. Um, because one motor is on this side, rotating clockwise, the other one would be turning anti-clockwise if you do it, because it's on the other side. So that's why it might be just confusing that they are set into different values. So this scales between one to um, uh, zero to one, and actually it actually scales from, uh, this software would scale it uh, for easiness of everything, it's just zero to one. And then um, consider the value being speed um, and direction. Um, um, uh, uh, and this is down. As you can see, I'm doing the same thing in reverse. And so when I'm doing left, right, uh, I just do differential. Um, and then so the one, um, yeah. Um, Basically differential. Uh, and stop is kind of stop. Uh, that's not a big deal there. Um, so yeah, so you can do kind of these kind of things with, uh, so if you have been coding in PHP for a long time, it's uh, get into this than I do, because I had to like, re like remember a lot of uh, PHP uh, basics to get this uh, working. Um, so yeah, you can. You can try it um, at home uh, and see whether you find something interesting uh, to do. Um, yeah, so um, uh, there is uh, the, this uh, client that I'm using is, uh, is pretty good. It has uh, functionalities, uh, but if you want to do more kind of sophisticated um, like uh, they do have uh, seven segment uh, displays that if you want to show, if you want to have like LED matrix matrix and things like that, it becomes a bit um, harder to do it in the, in this client. Uh, but you can it, once you get into this, you can probably um, get it working. Um, so yeah, uh, that's pretty much it for me. Thanks. Any questions? Yeah. yeah. I know it's a lot. <laughs> so, Formula is a client where you are compiling the PHP. Oh, no, no. OK, so that's. Uh, so, uh, so, Formata is, it works on the serial port. So, you can, uh, so, you. So, so basically, uh, I flash Formata onto this. A board, and it talks uh, talks through the serial port to me, so I can run uh, send commands to say 
pin uh, 11 on pin 12 off, uh, get me the output from pin 20 or something like that. So it's, it's, it's basically under so the uh, the the if you think about it the the problem becomes the there should be always a tethered way so the people the work around they have found out it is they put a uh, they have a wi-fi shield or a raspberry pi on top of it and then attach its serial to it and then communicate to the raspberry pi uh via rest or any anything um yeah it's, that's it. So here it is, how it is communicating to any Raspberry Pi? Or? No, no, it's just, I'm just sending uh, bytes through the serial port to say, do this, do that. It's, it's just, uh, yeah, it, uh, just think of it as in, uh, the firmata as a REST API. So I'm saying pin 11 on, pin 11 off, and it just listens to on the serial port. basically sending serial port messages. And when the port messages comes in, it calls back uh, our anonymous functions and then kind of runs them. Um, yeah. Um, yeah, that's all. Uh, so what are the use cases you can do it actually? Oh, you can do anything you want to. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Yes, you can do. Yeah. But, you know, yeah, exactly. Everybody kind of asks, right? Should you do it in PHP? <laughs> <laughs> you will be interesting. Again, you can write an application that kind of talks to the yeah. yeah. The 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 the. It's good because if you know PHP, it's it's walk in the park for you. Like you don't have to run C++ or any other thing. So it's, that's what your added advantage that you have, not kind of anything else. Uh, if, we, if we have any sensor, if we connect with this thing, that can send the data to our web applications. Correct? Yeah, perfectly. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Sorry? Yeah, yeah, you can do object type hinting and everything. Like yeah. Um uh yeah. You can you can this and click and look at the comments I have. <laughs> so but you can see, clearly see this is test code. <laughs> like PSR two violations, like spaces, indents, like horrible. Yeah. Okay. Uh, if that's all, thanks guys. Thank you.